Musk vs. Zuckerberg, the clash of the tech. Mixed martial arts and the ultimate fighting championship have been mentioned in mainstream news big time lately, which is something you don't regularly see. And if you follow corporate and establishment news, you know it's not because of some scandal or because there's a massive title fight that even casual sports fans are interested in. See the 2018 Khabib Nurmagomedov vs. Conor McGregor scrap for an example. Nope, it's because tech billionaires Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg have apparently agreed to throw hands at each other in a cage, and there's a lot of people who believe that the two are actually gonna go through with it. Yup, if you've been away from civilization the last few weeks and are just checking back in with electricity and the internet, this isn't a joke. So how in the hell did this happen? And does either dude even know how to fight? Further. Who will likely win this bout if it actually goes down? And just how successful will it be? Well, before we get into all that, if you enjoy this video, be sure to like it and to subscribe to KO Central MMA. Now with that piece of business out of the way, let's take a closer look at Musk vs. Zuckerberg and how this clash between tech titans might play out. Why did the world start buzzing about Musk vs. Zuckerberg? Talk about the billionaires initially started firing around the internet in June on account of a comment Musk made. The eccentric billionaire was apparently commenting on Meta's plans to launch its own social media app called Threads, which will be a competitor for Musk's Twitter. While doing so, Musk took a poke at Facebook and Meta's founder by tweeting out, I'm sure Earth can't wait to be exclusively under Zuck's thumb. Musk wasn't finished, however and chances are he had absolutely no idea what madness was about to unfold by tweeting this out. I'm up for a cage match if he is, lol. Now, if Zuckerberg had never responded, that tweet would have died on the media cycle vine within a day or so. But that didn't happen, as Zuckerberg responded to Musk's comment on Instagram with this Khabib-inspired comment, send me location. Musk proceeded to call for the scrap to take place in the Octagon in Las Vegas, and UFC boss man Dana White entered the picture. In a follow-up interview with TMZ, White reported that he spoke with both Musk and Zuckerberg and that the billionaires are indeed down to fight. Talked to Mark and Elon last night. Both guys are absolutely dead serious about this, White said. Now sure, Musk vs. Zuck isn't exactly the type of fight you'd expect to go down under the UFC banner, even though the likes of CM Punk and James Tony have competed in the octagon. But, as we'll get to in just a minute, this is a fight that would be ridiculously, ridiculously massive. So it's not surprising to see the UFC get involved. But do Musk and Zuck even train? So, although the fight hasn't actually been booked, since the initial back and forth between Musk and Zuck began, there's been a lot of talk about each man's fighting abilities and or lack thereof. If you follow Zuckerberg, you know that in recent months, he's apparently fallen in love with MMA and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So much so, he's even competed in some amateur jiu-jitsu tournaments. During a recent appearance on Lex Friedman's podcast, the Meta CEO opened up about his love for the martial arts and his decision to compete. I'm a competitive person, doing sports that basically require your full attention. I think is really important to my mental health and the way I just stay focused on doing everything I'm doing. So I decided to get into martial arts and it's, it's awesome. I got a ton of my friends into it. We all train together. We have a mini academy in my garage. And one of my friends was like, hey, we should go do a tournament. And I was like, okay, yeah, let's do it. I'm not going to shy away from a challenge. I registered under my first and middle name, so Mark Elliott. And it wasn't until I actually like pulled all that stuff off right before I got on the mat that I think people knew it was me. There you have it. And when you consider how uber rich Zuckberg is, Paying renowned coaches and competitors for private training sessions isn't a problem, nor is building your own mini academy as it turns out. Further, there's footage online of Zuck rolling with jiu-jitsu phenom Mikey Muzumichi. Before all the buzz about Zuckerberg and Musk fighting began, however, there wasn't so much talk about the latter training. After all, Musk himself has said he doesn't really like to exercise. But when Musk spoke with Joe Rogan a little while back, he did say he'd taken some karate, taekwondo, and judo classes when he was younger. Plus, he also said he had trained a bit in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. 
Now, does any of this mean that Musk could be a problem for Zuck? Hard to say. That could be why UFC legend George St. Pierre offered to train the polarizing gazillionaire. After all the hype for Musk Zuck began, GSP extended this offer to the entrepreneur. I'm a huge fan of yours and it would be an absolute honor to help you and be your training partner for the challenge against Zuckerberg. Musk took the decorated fighter up on his offer and recently a photo of him with GSP, jiu-jitsu guru John Danaher, and podcaster Lex Friedman, who's also a black belt in BJJ, made the rounds. Friedman also trained with Zuckerberg recently and a photo of their training sessions also blazed across the internet. Not only that, UFC heavyweight champ and former light heavyweight king John Jones has also thrown his hat into the mix. Jones recently offered to train Zuckerberg, who Bones seems to be backing. You already know that I'm Team Zuck. Let me know if you need a training partner. There you have it. Will Zuck take Jones up on his offer? It remains to be seen. So who's gonna win? Okay, so assuming this fight actually goes down, and this isn't all just some sort of massive PR stunt, who will win? And can we, or anyone for that matter, make an educated prediction? That's a really good question, and the answer is probably no. What we do know is that Zusk is several inches shorter than Musk, and that he's quite a bit smaller in status. After all, Musk's body and the fact that he's not going to be entering any fitness competitions anytime soon has been the source of online talk in the past. Even Musk recently joked about doing a walrus in the cage, whereby he would just lay on his opponent. So, if you're thinking Zuck will have the speed and cardio advantage, while Musk will have the size and strength edge, you're probably onto something. And what about technique? Well, as it stands right now, going off what we know or have seen, you have to give Zuck the nod here. Sure, many observers have likely winced, and then some, while watching footage of Zuck hitting pads and working his striking. But he has apparently been training regularly for a little while now, and as noted, Zuck has competed in grappling tournaments. That counts for something. While with Musk, we have a lot less to go on. Now, by the time these two fight, if that happens, the Tesla CEO may have spent countless hours training with established coaches and fighters. Like Zuck, Musk has mountains of cash to throw at this problem. But will he in fact spend the kind of time needed to do so? Or will Zuck continue to train regularly? Hard to say. But when you also throw each man's age into the mix, Musk is 52 and Zuck is 39, it's kinda hard to bet against Zuck winning this fight, right? Again, based on what we know, right here and now. Biggest fight of all time? Okay, so now that we've covered how all the Musk vs Zuck began, and what each man could bring to the octagon, fighting-wise, just how big could this fight be? Well, there's plenty of people who believe it could be the biggest fight in history, and they're probably on the mark with that call. For example, not long ago, Chael Sonnen weighed in on the potential bout while appearing on the MMA Hour. According to the American gangster, Musk Zuck could crush the current record for pay-per-view buys. You could for sure do 10 million plus pay-per-view buys, Sonnen said. But you could be closer to 20 and 25 million pay-per-view buys, because what I would predict is both of their companies would start some kind of a digital arm. So all of a sudden, I believe that Twitter would be hosting pay-per-views, and I believe Facebook would as well. Now you're talking 25 million views here. That's insane what I just said. You could do that if the business shifted and changed a little bit. Sure you could. They don't need Dana, Sonan added, while referring to the UFC's possible involvement in the bout. They didn't need permission. They didn't need this third party. They could do it on their platforms and it would be, if there's 6 billion people on Earth like they speculate, 5.5 billion would see that fight, right? Just through their platforms. So I just share that with you, that if it is something fun and he has an opportunity and wants to bring it to us, it'd be very nice of Dana. It would be rude of him not to bring it to us. Now, if you don't know, currently it's believed that the record for pay-per-view buys belongs to the two 2015 boxing match between Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. That fight is believed to have sold around 4.6 million pay-per-view buys. The MMA record for pay-per-view sales belongs to the aforementioned bout between Khabib and McGregor at UFC 229, which reportedly sold around 2.4 million pay-per-view buys. So you can see why many believe Musk vs. Zuck would set all kinds
millions of records. Even if they agreed to donate all the fight's proceeds to charity, the revenue generated from the bout would be epic. Both men have millions and millions of followers via their respective social media platforms, and they are two of the most famous people on the planet. And what are the risks? But while well, we've been caught up in debating if the billionaires will scrap and who will win if they do, are there any risks? Absolutely there is. Assuming both men actually try to win the fight and that both men actually throw strikes with intent to harm and or attempt to snap bones or choke the other senseless, of course there's a risk someone could get seriously hurt. As noted, it's not like either guy is a spring chicken. Musk is in his 50s. And what if one guy goes out there, looks absolutely absolutely terrible and just gets work. Could it be bad for that billionaire's brand and impact revenue? In this crazy world, anything's possible, right? And that's why not everyone is completely sold on the idea that Musk vs. Zuck will actually happen. And if it does, whether there will be a gentleman's agreement to take it easy on each other after the bell sounds. But what do you think? Will the billionaires throw hands? And if they do, who will win? Let us know in the comments section and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to KO Central MMA.